Well, he's kind of eating it. He's taking it. I think he's swallowing it. He isn't letting it go. That's he's not letting it go. Maybe crocodiles do like fruit. It smells like rabbit, so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta be careful here too, though, because he could come back right out of the water right at me right now. Where's the other croc? Underwater somewhere. Oh, he's over there with the rabbit. We're good. Okay, okay, all right. All right, gotta watch out the other croc. Now you can see she's chowing down on a cantaloupe. She's definitely chowing down on a cantaloupe. Man. I think she might swallow it, Jay. He. He. I think, she, I think he might swallow it. He might. I can't taste, right? But maybe. Maybe. We'll have you ever fed them a cantaloupe before? I have never fed a cantaloupe before, no. This is 100% new. I don't know why I would. <laughs> Other than to test this theory. And it won't hurt them. You know, I mean, they got an iron stomach. And they're testing the texture of it, trying to get turned head first, because all animals go down better head first. And, and there is no head. There's no head on it. He so might think the whole thing is the head. He, he might think it's your head, Charles. He might. He might. He really wouldn't make a distinction between my head and that. No. I mean, in my Other head. Other than your head tastes like blood, and that definitely doesn't. Yeah. Taste so, like which he would like a lot more. Yeah. Now, so, in a lot of my videos, guys, I, I talk to you guys about how humans are not the normal prey of. Um, we're not prey size items for alligators. These guys, yeah, they'll take us. Oh, yeah. And if they take us, they ain't bringing us back. Oh yeah, no, in, in their natural habitat in Africa, the, the now crocodiles get 16, 18 feet. Even a 12 foot crocodile is big enough to kill and eat a, eat a person. So, uh, and, and they're responsible for about 300 deaths a year in Africa. A lot of people are out in the edge of the river washing clothes. A lot of people are out there fishing. And so they just reach up and, and snag them and run off. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, so these are no joke. These are no joke. I don't know, he's still holding on. He's holding on to the he's cantaloupe. To it, but he hasn't, but he, ha he hasn't swallowed it. So the jury is still really out on whether crocodiles like fruit. I really don't think they do. My guess is, say, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't think that that's something that they would intentionally go after fruit. Right. But there is, there's a leading scientist right now that's like suggesting that, right? Right, because they have found fruit in the stomachs of, of uh, 10 different species of crocodilians. And, you know, my, my idea is that if a uh, rotting fruit hits the water next to a crocodile, they're going to turn and grab it like they do anything. It's just instinctual. Um, they also eat animals that have fruit in their stomachs, and they can find fruit in their stomachs, you know, from animals they ate. Um, but to, to say they have an affinity that they would actually want to Like, eat seek fruit, out fruit. So the next test would basically just take out a cantaloupe. We're gonna set it, rather than throwing it somewhere, just set it on the shore and see if, you know, one would come up and eat it. Basically and then come back smell. later and see, hey, did they, did they eat the cantaloupe or not? Right. Because, I mean, they're not gonna find it right away. They're gonna have to, like, kind of mosey around and well, maybe... Well, they would be attracted by the smell. He was attracted to that piece of meat by yeah. the smell. Yeah. Uh, he should be able to smell cantaloupe too, right? Right. Now, it could be that there's other kinds of fruit that are, you know, there in the wild, in Africa, that he might respond to. Maybe he doesn't like cantaloupe. Maybe cantaloupe's not what's grown all around out there. Right. He's going after it. Oh, he's no, he's even under. It. He's even under. Even, under, even eating it underwater. Oh, he's going for us now. He is going for us. He's going for us now. Let's try, let's try cantaloupe on the shore. Okay. We're gonna suggest cantaloupe rolling. Well, it was moving, I mean, though. it was moving. So. He did go for it though. He got it again. Albert, reach in there and grab that other one. <laughs> no, ain't no fun, Albert. It, it, it's complicated to film now, crocodiles, guys. So we got Albert up there on the camera. Um, he just let go of the cantaloupe. He seems to grab it again. Look, and he, he, he would. So here, I mean, the thing is, it looks like he much rather go after that rabbit than he would that cantaloupe. I think the jury. I think this. I think this decides it, Jay. I think it's pretty clear that. 
He'd rather go after her rabbit than his can two cantaloupes. Or you. Or me. He's or still me. looking at me as a prey item. Over here, Dan. Oh, oh he's, look that he's looking for that little piece of the cantaloupe. Does he smell that or does he smell that chunk of rabbit meat? Oh, he might. You want me to go ahead and nudge that to him? Let me do it. Let's see if he eats the cantaloupe. Well, that's... Next, we'll see if he eats this piece of cantaloupe right Because he's looked at it twice. He knows there's something there. He can see it raised up off the dirt. There he goes. He, I mean, he's, he's, he's going... It's kind of hard to... It's a mushy cantaloupe. It's kind of yeah. hard for him to actually grab onto. Not much there, but if he eats any of it all... Oh, he got a little bit. He, he ate it! He did eat some of it! He did. He did eat some of it. I mean, he did eat that cantaloupe. I don't know. Again, I mean, he, he ate three pieces of meat here. Yeah, here three pieces of meat and, and one piece of cantaloupe. Is he just confused or is he eating it on purpose? I, I think it's, it's hard to tell, Jay. And he's not eating this piece. He's like, that last one didn't taste better. Right? You gonna eat it? No! Well... No, he's trying to get it out of his mouth. Look. Yeah, uh, yeah, he does. Look, he shook. Oh, he shook it right out. No, wait a minute, but he's going back after. If anything, he likes to play with the cantaloupe. I mean, he's. Well, again, he likes the smell of the, of the rabbit. He knows we're feeding, and he's like, what is going on here? These guys usually give me meat. You know? The yeah. It's not quite right, but I, mean, I smell meat. It's got to be here somewhere. Maybe it's inside the cantaloupe, he said. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe it's like a, it's like a, a tussie pop. Right. How many bites does it take to get to the center of a cantaloupe? Oh, yeah. Well, one for a crock. 